up y'all today i'm going to be doing the about a year ago tag Last year I did this tag and got a really great reception for it. Everybody wanted me to do it again. I decided to go ahead and film it today. First, before anybody asks, yes, the <laughs> Get it together. This is my real hair. I just got it done last week for my birthday. And yeah, it's really long. I know, bro. Last year, my hair was really short back then. It was like right here. So it's grown this much in 2015. This is my hair length now. If you wanted a length check, there you go. I really wanna cut it. Like I'm resisting the urge, but I'm not gonna do it because I know many people wanna see me grow my hair out again. Even though I don't I don't like long hair, I think long hair is overrated, but I'm probably gonna do like a medium length. And for those of you who want like a hair update video, I literally have not been doing anything to my hair. It's been in cornrows for majority of the year because I wore a lot of wigs. And when I wasn't wearing a lot of wigs, I was doing a horrible job at taking care of my own hair. Let's do this about a year ago tag because rambling about my hair is not the purpose of this video. My biggest accomplishment of 2015. So last year I said that my goals in 2015 were to expand and to grow. I definitely did that. I accomplished pretty much all the goals that I wanted to accomplish last year. I got a new car, I got a new house, I got to travel a lot, my YouTube channel grew a ton because of my YouTube channel. I got to do tons of cool things. I feel like I grew a lot as an adult because I got to do a lot of adult things like go on business trips and purchase a car and a home. Like that's that's a big deal. My best memory of 2015 would definitely have to be all the freaking flights and trips that I took last year. Like I went on a lot of trips. I think I got on a plane maybe 10 to 20 times. I don't remember going anywhere in April, but every month in the year I went somewhere, um, whether it was flying somewhere or even road trips. We went on three road trips, I think, two or three road trips last year. LA twice, I went to San Diego, I went to New York City, Dallas a countless number of times, of course, because I'm from Dallas. Did a little dabbling in Indiana, did a little dabbling in St. Louis, did a little dabbling in Detroit. We were all over the place last year and it was awesome. Another memory that I had of 2015 was going to a lot of weddings. There were a lot of weddings and a lot of babies in 2015. I'm not even sure what was in the tea. I think we went to 10 weddings. Everybody and their mama was getting married. My biggest obstacle was taking care of myself. At the beginning of the year, I dealt with extreme cabin fever, which was weird. I've never dealt with cabin fever before in my life, but what happens is in Chicago, it can get so cold and snowy that nobody wants to go outside. And so I spent countless numbers of days indoors. I think on top of that, me not eating enough. If you know me, I don't like to really cook for myself. So if I'm not leaving the house, then I'm not really getting food. So a combination of not having enough human interaction and not eating enough was like taking a toll on my body. And I had hormonal like outrages. Like I was pretty much all hormones. <laughs> so like I would sit at the computer and work all day and I wouldn't get up and go outside and exercise and eat properly. Like I was just eating junk food and sugar and it was bad. I wasn't taking care of myself very well. I was really focused on outside things. I feel like a lot of what I do gives a lot of myself away. And so if I'm not putting back into myself, then we're having an issue. So that's why I kept taking those breaks. I was like, guys, I need to take a break. I need to take a break. Cause I was literally using too much of my energy towards other things other than taking care of myself and finding that balance between taking care of myself and taking care of my business at the same time. That was my biggest obstacle of 2015. Favorite beauty products of 2015. Top five favorites. Okay, so ColourPop was popping. I feel like I watched other people's about a year ago tag and they said ColourPop, but yeah, ColourPop was popping. Not only received a lot of stuff from them, but before that, I was buying a lot of stuff from them. Like, I was purchasing a lot of ColourPop this year. Another favorite beauty product of mine was my Foreo Luna Mini, little um, face washing thing that I wash my face with. I have sensitive skin, so I feel like if you can't use a Clarisonic, it's a really great alternative because it's not as abrasive. I loved all of the Glam Glow products I tried this year. I loved the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It came and went in phases for me, but I did fall in love with that, as well as the Creamy Radiant Concealer from NARS as well. I really loved that product. Ooh, highlighters. Highlighters were popping 
this year, particularly my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Baked Illuminator Swirl in the Mary Luminizer. Okay, so that's not five, but I, I tried it. Bloopers from 2015. I had put all my bloopers in all of my videos. I have a whole video that's literally a blooper. I think I got concealer in my eye, because I can't see. Temporarily blind here, guys. I realized I haven't done my eyebrows. Do a little flick. Little flick turned into a lot of flick. I did not want to look like Cleopatra today. This eyeliner went from zero to Amy Winehouse real quick. Ugh, fudge. <sighs> We're just gonna put lashes on. Maybe lashes will make it better. Maybe. I messed my makeup up, so we're starting over. <laughs> that whole video, it was just a mess. <laughs> so that's one big blooper and everybody likes it. For some reason, everybody really likes to watch me fail. So you guys should watch that. It's my talk through, get ready with me video, winter products, whatever I, whatever I was talking about. Also, another blooper from this year, me trying to get that bug out of my kitchen. Guys, I'm gonna die. There is a bug in my grocery bag. Y'all see this monstrosity? Look at that! What the heck is that? He's coming out the bag. He's he's coming out. Oh Jesus! Not the blender! I need the blender! Guys, oh my god, it flies! Oh my god! I'm moving out! I'm leaving! <laughs> I can hear it flying. 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 I'm not safe here. That was one of the most trivial moments of my life. And I'm pretty sure it was a test of my faith. I did find some new channels that I really, really like. Good Mythical Morning. I think I binge watched all their videos within the course of a month. I think me meeting a lot of people at Generation Beauty is what really made me more into some of the YouTubers that I watch because I got to meet Desi, Desi Perkins. I've been watching Desi for a long time. Desi said she liked my shoes at Generation Beauty. I think that means we're friends. And I got to meet Jackie, my mom. Also, when I met, when I went to Generation Beauty, I met non-mainstream YouTubers. So, Alyssa Ashley, who I think just hit 100K, so I'm pretty sure she's mainstream now. But Alyssa Ashley, Sydney Black with the beautiful blue eyes, um, Symphony, I haven't met Symphony yet in person, but me and Symphony are gonna be best friends because she is the sweetest girl ever. I love Symphony. So yeah, those are my favorite mainstream and non-mainstream YouTubers. 2015 regrets. So I don't usually regret anything. I believe that everything that happens happens for a reason. Um, I do regret not taking care of myself like I should have. My balance was really off in 2015. I just feel like I was very unbalanced. Like if you if you have a YouTube channel, you know what I'm talking about. The more followers you get, the more people who follow you, the more voices are constantly talking to you. So it's like I have to have a balance of real life and social media and the internet because if it's too much of this then I start getting crazy but then if I got too much of this then y'all don't see me. It was frustrating. I just I don't know I really regret not keeping that balance as much as I could have. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Most memorable phrases from the year 2015. Oh my god, okay, so lit. What are those? Boy, running through the six with my woes. Go best friend, that's my best friend. You do what you want when you pop in. There's a lot that I can't think of right now, but most embarrassing moments. I don't have embarrassing moments. I just know that I do crazy dumb stuff all the time, and so nothing embarrasses me. Like, the older I get, the less I care. Lessons learned from 2015. Okay, so in 2015, I learned not to freaking worry about everything. I think I worried a lot, more, more so with the beginning of the year, I learned this lesson. Just don't worry about stuff. Bro, I'm an adult now, so I have to make my own decisions. I have to do things myself, and so it just really caused me to go through this, like, phase where I was really scared because it's like, I don't want to fail, you know? Goals for 2016. My goals for 2016 would definitely be just to take better care of myself, to be more healthy. Um, I'm already on that kick. My husband got me a Apple Watch for my birthday. It tells me, you know, how many calories. It tells me when I need to stand up, when I need to move. Um, it also tells me when I need to drink water. Oh, I needed to drink water an hour ago. My Apple Watch is keeping me in check. Okay, so I'm really trying to get my health back. I'm gonna start working out again this year. I want to gain five pounds and I want my skin to be on fleek this year. I'm not playing with y'all. In 2015, I did a lot of defending myself and having to explain myself. 
this year I'm not going to be explaining myself I'm not going to be defending myself and I'm not going to complain I'm not trying to overwhelm myself with negativity I'm not addressing the haters this year I'm not I'm not dealing with the negativity this year I just can't do it I don't have any like YouTube goals if I stayed right where I am on YouTube throughout 2016 and went into 2017 with the same amount of subscribers I'd be perf perfectly fine with that because I'm, I'm just content I'm content with what I have I was not as organized as I could have been in 2015 so this year I really want to be more organized I want to keep my living situation keep it clean space keep keep everything around me organized and clean and looking as nice as possible I'm really looking forward to I don't know the, the new adventures that are going to take place I don't know what all is going to happen this year I have no idea I have I have no plans yet we'll see what's going to happen this year I'm just excited for all the changes that are going to happen this year um, whatever they may be and I'm going to welcome them with open arms I think that's all. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will be sure to do it again next year. I know I'm late, but if you haven't done this video and you wanted to do it, go ahead and do it. I tag you, I tag everyone. That's all. I hope that you guys had a marvelous holiday season. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.